Hey everyone, this is Super Sport. Okay, what I've got here, I've got my stock HTC Trinity P3600, and it's running a stock OEM 6.1 Windows Mobile on it. It does not have hard SBL installed, so at this time it's actually unsafe to start flashing custom ROMs or radios to it. So that's what we're going to go through here. We're going to install Ollie Pro 120 hard SBL. So first thing you need to do, um, doesn't matter which ROM you're on, do this. Go to your start menu, go to settings, and it might be under system or connections. On this ROM it's under connections. We want to go to the USB to PC, and we want to verify that enable advanced network functionality is turned off. If it's turned off, you're ready to proceed. At this point, make sure your phone is connected to your PC using the USB cable. Okay. Now we need to go to download the hard SPL 120. I've got a link on my desktop to my um, written tutorial for this. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of my first post. Here you'll see two files. We want the top one. This is the USB method. The other one is for SD method, which we're not going to cover here. Go ahead and save it to your desktop. It just makes it easier to find later. And I'll go ahead and close that. So here's the file we just downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. You may be using Windows to extract or 7-zip or WinZip or whatever you use to extract the file. Go ahead and extract it. And again, I'm going to extract to the desktop. There it is. Open that up. Now here's a file I created. It basically is an auto flash file. It's using the RUU program that that everybody has on the uh, XDA forum. I haven't created that. I'm just putting it all together here. So I've got that in there. Um, it's going to flash, or it's going to install um, DES hard SPL onto the phone first. Then it's going to flash the Ollie Pro hard SPL 120 onto the phone. And you simply double click the file, accept the security warning, Accept the user account control warning if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Go ahead and check OK. Check this and next. Now it's going to check your phone and see what ROM you currently have installed. It's going to make sure it's able to flash. Okay, you can see here it's verified that it currently has the stock OEM ROM on it. We'll go ahead and tell it to update telling you here it's going to flash the 120 Ollie Pro onto your phone. Hit next. Hit next one more time. This should just take a moment. It's a pretty quick flash when it's working. Oh, one more thing. On the screen of the phone we'll probably come up with a um, confirmation that you want to run this file. Say yes. Now that happens if you're on an OEM ROM. Usually on a custom ROM you're not going to run into that. So the auto flash file has placed the phone into the bootloader. It's installed the DES 1.07 SPL. That allows us to flash any other hard SPL onto the phone. Now it's flashing. Like I said, it doesn't take very long to do this one. There's our congratulations window. That means it's actually worked. I'm going to say finish. And now down on the phone, my phone is uh, basically turned off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw it into bootloader just to confirm that we have the hard SPL installed. And to do that, we're going to press the power button and the camera button at the same time. While holding those in, we're going to press the reset button with the stylus. And then we're going to release the reset button, but we're going to continue to hold the other two buttons. So here we go. I use my pointing finger and my pinky finger to hold the buttons. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but it does say it's uh, running SPL 120 Ollie Pro. That means we've actually successfully flashed hard SPL onto the phone. Okay, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Bye.